before I break anything out, here's the simple truth. Not every part of this ecosystem grows at the same speed. Like I keep saying, compute keeps moving the fastest. Facilities move a little bit slower, but they are very consistent. And hyperscalers sit right in the middle. They're big, they're steady, and they're essential. For me, the goal is never just to own everything equally. My goal is to match the growth, the risk, and the timing with what the data is telling us today. And I think that most of us can agree that the data is fairly clear. The money that's flowing into AI and data centers, it is not being split out evenly. Most of the upside is landing in compute, and most of the stability is coming from facilities. And the hyperscalers, well, they capture pieces on both sides without a lot of volatility. But for now, here's how I'd put $100 to work across the data center stack today. $45 goes straight into compute. This is the fastest growing part of data centers. Think chips, memory, servers, networking, and the demand is still running really hot. $30 then would go into hyperscalers. Amazon, Microsoft, Google. They're building the data centers, they're filling them, and they're running the cloud platforms that sit on top. And they'll generate revenue for the long term. And my last $25 would go into facilities. Power systems, cooling, electrical gear, real estate. These companies get paid every time a new data center flips the lights on, regardless of what chips are inside. I think is realistic growth rates for each of these groups. Compute would be growing in the low 20% range. Hyperscalers around 12 to 13%, and facilities around 8 to 10%. That simple $100 would then grow into roughly $200 to $235. It's clean exposure across the parts of the data centers that are doing the real work. In summary, by 2030, analysts expect global data center power capacity to jump from 81 gigawatts to 222 gigawatts. And that's the real investment story. The companies building the compute engines and the companies building the backbone that's right behind them. They're all stepping into a $7 trillion wave that's already in motion. In my opinion, the money isn't in the hype. It's in the hardware, the power, and the concrete that makes AI even possible. And that's where the next five years of returns gets decided.